Welcome back to RPG Maker MV Tutorial Series Level 2. We started by making a game in 15 minutes, but let's be honest it wasn't much of a game, and we still got a lot of work to do. First, we'll recap how we made our 15 minute game and go through it step by step. That's going to take a lot longer than 15 minutes. After that we'll continue on developing our game and actually making it into something that we can play. But let's begin at the beginning with making a map. So here we are back in RPG Maker MV. Let's hit File and start a new project. We'll call it Level 2. We can rename that later on. Now, when you start your new map, it's really exciting to go in and start creating. The only problem with this is that you can end up getting caught in the trap of just making your map and forgetting to actually do your game. And as fun as that is, what we wanted to focus on here is getting the framework for our game going first. So, rather than making a custom map, what we're going to do is we're simply going to load up some maps from the default templates. When we get started, our first map will look like this. We can click on map 001 here, press space to go into the edit options, and we can just rename it as start. Now we can press enter while we're highlighting that and that will give us the option to create a new map that is nested underneath the start map. We can see our new map has blank transparent tiles whereas the, the initial map actually has grass. We want to get rid of that so let's go to here and we'll click on the single pencil, we'll right click in the transparent tiles, we'll go back to the start map, click on the fill and fill that transparent. That means that when we start the game, we won't see this grass on our start map. That's a good start. Now, let's continue on. The next thing we want to do is to add a world map. So we'll go back to our top level, level 2, and we'll right click and hit load. Under load, we're going to look for a nice world map. Now there's five different options here in the defaults. We'll just go with number 1 because it's got some islands. Once we've got level 1, uh, once we've got the World 1 map up, we can now choose some of the towns and other different uh, zones that we want to go to. So with World 1 highlighted so we can nest our maps underneath them, we're going to go to right click and hit load. And the first thing we actually f uh, loaded up was a fishing village. So that gives us a nice little fishing village. We'll right click on World 1 again, we'll hit load, then we'll find a forest. Now there's a few different options with forest, but we'll just go with this standard one here. The next thing we loaded up was a, a normal town. And that gives us a bit more of a standard castle town looking effect. We'll then load up a lost forest, and that gives us our maze type location. Next, we'll right click, load a tower. The tower, if you keep scrolling down, you'll find the tower is a bit further down under the demon castles. And then we wanted to do some dungeons. So we right here we're going to nest the dungeons underneath the tower because they're going to be accessed to and from the tower. So we'll right click and hit load. We'll do a stone cave. Again, hitting the tower. We'll do an ice cave. Right clicking on the tower again. Cursed cave. And right clicking on the tower one more time. Lava cave. Next thing we wanted to add was a Hall of Transference. So we're going to go back to our world map because this is going to be nested under the world map. We hit Hall of Transference. And then from the Hall of Transference, last but not least, we're going to go to a floating temple. So we'll right click on Hall of Transference and we'll find floating temple way back up at the top. And this gives us the outline of our locations. Now we have our outline, the next thing to do is to place our locations in the world and set up transfers between them so that we can go f between the different maps. So back in world map, this looks like a good spot to get started. Our first location was going to be a fishing village, which is a sort of corner type site. So let's put our fishing village over here. We'll find the village under our tile sets, B. Then we make sure that we're on the pencil, 
so we don't accidentally fill the whole tile. We'll click here, and there's our fishing village. But how do we get to our fishing village when we press play? So the first thing we want to do, if you recall from the level 1 tutorial series, we can simply right click on the, uh, we go into event mode, then we right click on the location, we quick event creation, transfer, and we can transfer into the fishing village. Now in this case the entrance to the fishing village would be at the top. Click OK. And when we come into the village we actually want to be heading down. It doesn't matter if we come in from the right or from the uh, from the top. We want to head down. So that enables us to go from the world map into our village. And now how do we get from the village to the world map? Same thing again, we click on our fishing village click on the exit to town, quick event creation, transfer, this time we'll go out to the world map, we can simply click here on the village, click OK, and this time we want to be going up. Uh, if you do retain it will actually just go in the direction you're heading in, so if you, f if you see that you're going from here to go up, you'll be going up anyway, but I like to just set those directions so I know exactly where I'm going as a good reminder. You can just click on the event, Control C and Control V, and that will paste the same event, transfer event, in each of those squares at the top. That means that no matter which square you're in, when you go to leave the village, you will always hit a transfer. And that's step one of setting up our transfers from the world map to the village and from the village to the world map. So let's just quickly test that to make sure everything's working fine. We go to our world map, we'll right click on here and we'll set our starting position of the player. We'll press play, save our changes, check out our logo, new game, and here we are on our world map. If we go into the village, we come in here, if we exit the village, we come out there. Perfect, everything's working just as we planned. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one!